here is um, the Pew Research Center provides a phenomenal number of statistics for students to use, and many students like to consult and cite. Um, we have a lot of information that's here. So what I'm going to do, which is what I typically do, is I copy as much of this, and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to bring it over to a document, and I'm going to paste without formatting. We also want to get the URL. So I'm going to highlight that and copy it and also bring it over here and make sure that it's pasted without formatting. So really most of the information I need at this point is all over here. If I consult, definitely have an author. I have a title of the source. I have the title of the container that's in the URL. Publisher is probably the same as Pew. And we also have the date of publication and the URL is the location. So we've got the parts we need. So now we're going to take, we're going to basically start at the beginning. So the first thing we need is the author. So her name is Anderson, comma, first name Monica, period. Now this is the name of the page, but you can see I need title case. And so some of these words have to be capitalized, but not all of them. And I'm not sure which is which. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to take it over to a source I have here, which is called capitalize my title. I'm going to replace the one I have in here with the new one. So paste it here. And I'm going to click on the MLA button. There we go. You see it changed my capitalization to make a title case that is MLA eight friendly. So I'm going to highlight that and copy that and bring it back to here, paste without formatting. So it doesn't mess with my, my formatting. So now I'm going to backspace this to make it come into that row. And I'm going to put in a quote and then I'm going to put in a period and another quote. And that is correct. What I do need to do is get this date out of the way. Now we need to put our container in. So this is a little bit tricky. Here is our URL and the, there is, the container is usually here, but this fact tank, if I look back to my page, I can see that this is sort of a segment of the Pew Research Center. So what I'm going to choose to do in this instance, in order to provide as much information as possible, I'm going to make fact tank the container and Pew Research Center the publisher. I won't always do this. There will be times when it's not clear that it's within a section of Pew, in which case Pew Research Center becomes the container. And I do not repeat that in the publisher. So I only have one piece of information there. And that's a judgment call that you have to make over and over again. So here we're going to go with fact tank, comma, Right. And then we, the next thing is the date of publication. Now it's written here as March 22, but we know that the order is 22 and we abbreviate to three letters and when appropriate. Now we are going to get rid of that 20 comma. And now I have to get rid of the HTTPS colon double forward slash. I'm going to hit the backspace space forward and period at the end. And now I'm just going to do this little modification here. Oh, next thing I want to make sure that my container is italicized. We are all set. 